Nottingham Middle School presents Mastering the Star Test Tutorial, the LCM and GCF. We'll take you on the road to learn about the LCM the and the GCF. And just can't wait the LCM the is again. the least common multiple. While the GCF stands for the greatest common factor. Let's start learning about the LCM. To find the LCM, you must learn to write the multiples of the numbers. Let's start by finding the multiples of 6 and 8. The multiples of 6 start off with 6, 12, and 18. By continuing to add 6 to the next multiple of 6, you get the first 10 multiples. Likewise, to get the first 10 multiples of 8, you get the following list, 8, 16, 24, all the way to 72 and 80. Now let's write our multiples of 6 and 8 across a piece of paper. First, we'll circle the multiples that appear on both rows. The first multiple that appears on both lists is 24. The next common multiple would be 48. 24 and 48 are the common multiples of 6 and 8. The least common multiple would be the smallest of these multiples, which would be 24. Now it's your turn. On your piece of paper, write out the multiples of 4 and 6. You need to be writing the first 10 multiples of 4 and 6. You should have the following list of multiples on your paper. Now let's circle the common multiples. The common multiples would be 12, 24, and 36. The first three common multiples of 4 and 6 are 12, 24, and 36. The least common multiple would be 12. Now that we know what the LCM is, let's talk about the GCF. The GCF is the greatest common factor. To understand the GCF, you must know what a factor is. A factor is a number that divides evenly into another number. Let's find the factors of 6. 1 is a factor of every number. 1 times 6 is 6. So 1 and 6 are factors of 6. Likewise, you can multiply 2 and 3 to get 6. So 2 and 3 would also be factors of 6. A good way to write the factors of 6 would be horizontally across the page. They would be 1, 2, 3, and 6. Now let's find the factors of 18. Remember, 1 is always a factor of a number, so 1 times 18 are 2 factors of 18. Since 18 is an even number, 2 is also a factor. 2 and 9 would be factors of 18. 18 is also a multiple of 3. 3 times 6 are factors of 18. 4 does not divide into 18 evenly, nor does 5. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18 are the factors of 18. You can rewrite the factors of 18 horizontally across your page. The factors would be 1, 2, 3, 
6, 9, and 18. Now let's compare the factors of 6 and 18 together. Notice that some of the factors are on both rows. Those numbers would be the common factors. The common factors would be 1, 2, 3, and 6. Writing the common factors of 6 and 18 out, they would be 1, 2, 3, and 6. The largest of these common factors are 6, and it's called the greatest common factor. Now it's your turn. See if you can find the factors of 12 and 30. To help you out, 12 will have three sets of factors and 30 will have four sets of factors. The factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. While the factors of 30 are 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, and 5 and 6. Now let's write out the factors of 12 and 30 horizontally across your paper. Your paper should look like this with the factors of 12 and 30 going horizontally across the page. Now you'll have 30 seconds to circle the common factors and identify the greatest common factor of 12 and 30. You should have circled the common factors of 1, 2, 3, and 6. The common factors would be 1, 2, 3, and 6. The greatest of these, or the GCF, would be 6.